Hey, it's Coach Josh here from Training for Warriors Portland, and I'm going to talk about the most important thing, the most important resource, the thing without which you could do nothing, that's time. Everything, everything takes time, and very few things give you time back. It's really, really interesting the way that people spend their time. You want to know what somebody is committed to? You want to know what somebody cares about? Watch how they spend their time. And how you spend your time is, is really how you spend your, yourself and your energy. I mean, there's, there's no more pure distillation, distilled uh, picture of who you are than what you do with your time. And I, there's a lot here, but what I'll say is it's the most precious resource. It can be spent, but you can't borrow it. And you can sometimes buy it, and you can sometimes create it. And I want to help you with that. But the most important thing is don't waste your time. And <clears throat> uh, one of my mentors, Bedros Koulian, talks about the crab bucket. And uh, he lives down there in San Diego, and he visits a lot of these coastal towns to, uh, to get some space and get some air. And he um, <clears throat> was watching some crabbers uh, on, on a dock one time. And they had come back and uh, they were cleaning their gear and they had a bucket full of crabs. And the crabs were crawling out of the bucket. And uh, they're just like, hey, hey, hey man, uh, your, your, your crabs are getting out. Like, you, you better keep an eye on them. They're going for it. He's like, <laughs> the, the fishermen laughed and they were like, oh, no, you don't know about crabs. And uh, he watched them and, and they were you know, scuttling up the side of the bucket. And <clears throat> uh, as soon as one would start to get over the top, crab would reach up, grab it, and pull the other crab down before it could get, you know, completely escaped. So as soon as a crab gained anything relative to the other crabs, crab, another crab would grab it and pull it down. And, well, that's a natural instinct of crabs, and it's a, it's a, a nice little metaphor for life. <clears throat> you don't want to be around people who are going to try and bring you down just for the sake of bringing you down. And you, you know who these people are, you feel it in your heart when you, you, you share an idea with somebody and they're like, oh, I don't know if that's going to work. Or um, you, you try something new and they're like, let's see how long that lasts. I mean, we all have crabs in our life, but you don't have to choose to spend your time with those crabs. So be aware of the crabs in your life and make sure you're on a diet of time with them so you're not giving away your most precious asset to people that are going to keep you down in the bucket. <clears throat> and then escapism and comfort seeking. And uh, this, is, uh, this is when you're spending time just simply avoiding the other things in your life that you need to be doing. Now, I'm not saying every moment of my life is spent, you know, productive, meditating, and I'm training, and I'm gardening. I'm, you know, like, no, I, I watch The Daily Show. I watch Game of Thrones. I'm a big nerd. I love it. You know, I drink beers with my friends. Like, you should have comfort in your life. You shouldn't run away from comfort. But if you don't have the important things and you have a lot of the unimportant things, you might be able to trade up some of those things. Trade away some leisure, trade away some pleasure for things that are more valuable, that are more important. Deeper relationship with your with friends, people that aren't crabs. Maybe um, <clears throat> going back to school or studying or learning something or you know, getting it's okay to spend your invest your time in things that you want and things that are fun. But if you're if you have more energy and time for the fun things and you find yourself complaining about the things you don't have you might be able to do, do some bartering and some swapping there to get a little bit more out of your life and out of yourself. And thirdly, you can, you can sometimes buy time. In this day and age, we've got magical stuff now on just a, on the touch of an iPhone. You can have someone do your grocery shopping for you, deliver it. This is something that I benefited a lot from because I'm a cyclist and, you know, and, and I hate going to the grocery store. So <clears throat> people would go to Whole Foods, pick up groceries, bring them to me, and it cost $99 a year. That was for Instacart, you know, back in the day. And I don't know how much it costs now because my girlfriend loves shopping, so we don't do Instacart anymore. But, uh, you know, that saved me a couple hours every week, you know, riding my bike, going, picking stuff up, bringing it home. And it only cost me, you know, a tip, which is great. Uh, I God bought that time back. I was very excited about that. And uh, there's other, you know, services we can use where people will help you do chores or do errand running and, and things like that. Or Uber, you can get around now without having to wait for too long for things. <clears throat> Extremely valuable because you can't get that time back. And then um, you can also create time. And this is a fun one. Discipline will help you create time. Commitment to a process. I don't like, you know, I don't have any free time, but I do have commitment. And if I need to commit some energy and time to something, I will create time. I'll create an opportunity to do that thing I want to do. 
w setting your alarm and waking up 30 minutes early so that you can stretch and maybe meditate before your kids wake up, get yourself centered, that's huge. You can create time through exercising discipline. And it seems like exercising that discipline will cause you pain, but in reality, it buys you freedom and it creates time. And when you create time, you can do anything in the world with it. It's amazing. So uh, utilizing that alarm clock can help create some time in your day. Or, as I said, borrowing from these other sources of, uh, of time, or these other consumers of time to do something too, you can actually mindfully create time with your decisions. By exercising, exercising a little bit of discipline and creativity. So, most powerful resource in the universe. Nothing can be accomplished without time. You, you have control over it. You can master time. And you can even, if you're, if you're crafty, you can create some time and buy it back. So, this is Coach Josh talking to you about time, and I hope you use your time to bring out the warrior within.